Sita and Gita were so excited that they tore open their gift. Their uncle, who had come to visit them, had brought it for them. It was a board game. They opened the game and laid it out on the floor. The game had two dice, one red and one green inside a bag. The instructions of the game said that the player has to pick one dice from the bag. Depending on the color of the dice, the rules were different. If you took out the green dice, the dots on it represented positive numbers. If you took out the red dice, the dots on it represented negative numbers. The players would need to start game from zero. The red dice will make the player move backward and the green dice will make the player move forward. Person who reaches either positive 24 or negative 24 first will win the game. Sita and Gita started playing the game immediately. Sita takes out the red dice and rolls 3. As the red dice indicates a negative number, Sita moves back 3 steps from 0 and reaches negative 3. Now, it is Gita's turn. She takes out the green dice and rolls it. She has got 2. As the green dice indicates a positive number, she moves 2 steps forward from 0 and reaches 2. Sita takes out the red dice again from the bag and rolls it. She has a 2. Again, she has to move backwards 2 steps from where she is. That is negative 3. Now, she is at negative 5. It is Gita's turn now. She has also taken out the red dice this time. She rolls it and gets a 6. Red indicates a negative number. So, she has to go backwards six times from where she is. That is number two. See, where she has reached negative four. This is how they continued to play till one of them reached either negative 24 or positive 24. Looks like a fun game, isn't it? Well, this is the lesson for today's class too. At the end of this module, you should be able to understand adding positive integers, adding positive and negative integers, adding negative integers. Adding integers with the help of a number line. When we have to add two positive integers, that is, positive 4 plus positive 7, we add them as 4 plus 7, that is equal to 11. Similarly, when we have to add two negative integers, for example, negative 6 plus negative 8. We add the numbers, that is 6 plus 8, that is equal to 14. And we assign a minus sign to the sum, that is minus 6 plus minus 8 that is equal to minus 
14. When we have one positive and one negative integer, we must subtract the numbers and assign the sign of the greater number to the answer. For example, to add positive 7 plus negative 2, we have to subtract 2 from 7 and assign the sign of the greater number that is 7 which is positive. Therefore, positive 7 plus negative 2 is equal to plus or positive 5. To understand this concept of addition of integers, let us do an activity. Take a few green buttons and red buttons. Let one green button denote positive 1 and one red button denote negative 1. We can see that a pair of one green button, positive 1 and one red button, negative 1 will denote 0. That is 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. Now, let us do some addition problems with the help of these buttons. How do you think we will do 3 plus 2 with the help of these buttons? Well, as one green button represents positive 1 to represent 3, we will need to take 3 green buttons. To represent the other number 2, we will need to take 2 green buttons. Observe that there are total of 5 green buttons. Therefore, we can clearly see that 3 plus 2 equals to positive 5. Let us try doing addition using the red buttons. Try to add negative 2 and negative 1. For this, you will need to take two red buttons for negative 2 and one red button for negative 1. So, there is a total of three red buttons. Therefore, we can see that by adding negative 2 and negative 1, we get negative 3. These buttons are really cute looking. Let us do some more addition problems with them. Now, what if we want to add one negative number to one positive number? Let us try it together with this example. Add negative 3 with positive 2. First, we have to take three red buttons and two green buttons. As we know that a pair of red button and green button represents zero. In other words, negative 1 plus positive 1 is equal to zero. So, the first step is to pair red and green buttons. We can see that there are two pairs of red and green buttons, which will get cancelled and give us zero. So, what is left here? Yes, we are left with one red button which is equal to negative one. Therefore, negative 3 plus positive 2 is negative 1. Now, let us add negative 4 with positive 5. Take 4 red buttons for negative 4 and 5 green buttons for positive 5. Pairing the red and green buttons, 4 pairs are formed which get cancelled. 
Here, we are left with one green button whose value is positive 1. Therefore, negative 4 plus positive 5 gives positive 1. You can create such fun activities at home with new things too. Now, let's see the procedure to add two integers on a number line. Draw a number line and mark integers on it. To add two numbers, start from the point representing the first number on the number line. Move as many units as the second number to the 1. Right of the first number, if the second number is positive. 2. Left of the number, if the number is negative. Note, the final number which you have reached on the number line. This number is the addition value of the two given integers. Let us understand this concept further with an example. Find the sum of given integers using a number line. That is, negative 3 plus 6. Draw a number line and mark negative 3 on it. Start from the point negative 3 and move 6 units towards the right as the second number is positive. The number that we have reached is positive 3. Therefore, negative 3 plus 6 is equal to 3. Find the sum of the given integers using number line. Negative 2 plus 7 plus negative 1. Notice that we are now adding 3 integers instead of 2. Draw a number line and mark negative 2 on it. That is the starting point. Starting from negative 2, move 7 units towards the right as the next number is positive 7. We have reached positive 5. The next number is negative 1. So, from 5, move 1 unit towards left. We have reached positive 4. Therefore, negative 2 plus 7 plus negative 1 is equal to positive 4. You can do this for as many numbers as possible. But make sure all your steps are correct. Try solving the following problems on your own to check if you have understood doing addition on a number line. Find the sum of the given integers using number line. That is, negative 3 plus 5 plus negative 2.
in this lesson you have understood adding positive integers adding positive and negative integers adding negative integers adding integers with the help of a number line 